Welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how we can uh, insert the starters in the e tab for the starting of the induction motor and how they will affect the starting of an induction motor, how they affect the starting current. As you know, induction motor takes very huge current at the starting. Now we are using, we are introducing starters and know how you how these starters affect the starting current and starting torque. In the previous lecture, we have discussed a theoretical discussion on the starters, how they affect the starting current and the starting torque. In the previous lecture, we have seen that when we use starters, the current gets reduced as we apply the reduced voltage through the starters. The formula for that when you use the auto transformer, the voltage the current gets reduced by x times the starting current. That means means if we apply a 70% of the voltage, our starting current through when we use auto transformer as a starter, it gets reduced by x times of the starting current as compared to when we not, do not use the starting starter. That means when we use direct online starting. Second is the relation between torque and uh, voltage. The starting torque gets reduced x square times of the starting uh, torque at as when we start the motor directly online. That is direct online starting. Then we have also seen this thing with, with a Excel sheet. Through this uh, Excel sheet, you have seen that this at 100% that is direct online starting. At this time, the uh, locked rotor current is 435.51 times and LRT that is locker rotor torque is 35% and speed is 1474. We have kept this 100% value here. We can write it here 100%. That is when we do not use starter, that is direct online starting. These are the values. When we reduce the voltage to suppose 80%, you can see the locked rotor current that is the starting current gets reduced and the locked rotor torque gets also reduced if you calculate these things you can see this is x times of the full load uh, starting current and this is x square times of the full load starting torque now coming to the ETAB uh, model we can use now starters in the ETAB model and see their behavior and compare the results with the excel sheet First of all, I can double click on the motor induction motor. We have discussed till date name palette, impage, model, inertia, load. Now we can discuss about the starting devices. We can click on the starting devices, and here we can select the first auto transformer. And we have kept this window here. You can see this window here. Uh, at starting, we are uh, uh, when at starting we are applying 80% of the voltage and when the motor attains 80% of the speed we are removing the auto transfer from the supply from the supply and we are applying directly supply to the motor that means we are applying full voltage 100% voltage to the motor and then click ok and uh, run then click ok now we can run the dynamic modeling and here we can run the run dynamic uh, dynamic motor starting okay now you can see here that operating operating voltage is 80 percent that is we are applying 80 percent of the voltage now we can go here to the motor starting plotters and click on the motor starting plotters double key, uh, okay now here we can select the motor and tick the m motor one and first of all we will see our slip and torque character uh, slip and speed plotters this is the slip and uh, uh, slip and speed plots uh, these are separate this is slip plot and this is the speed uh, plot you can see our motor takes almost uh, i can zoom it it takes almost uh, 
110 seconds to start and our uh, when the motor starts our slip is almost zero it is non zero but it is almost zero and speed is 98.5 percent that is almost 100 percent we can combine these plots also by uh, uh, clicking on the combine plot and plot we can close these plots and now you can see when the slip is 1.5 percent and our motor speed is 98.5 now we can go to excel sheet we can enter the slip 1.5 percent enter and our speed is 98.5 percent so our uh, a tab results are completely matching with the excel sheet now we can see what is the current we can see the current plot and click on the plot you can see the plot this is the current plot we can first close this plot and now you can see at starting the uh, current is 361.8 percent when we applied the 80 percent of the voltage our current is uh, our current is almost 362.6 percent now we can see from the excel sheet when we applied 80 percent of voltage our starting current is 362.8 percent which is matching completely with the a tab results and after almost this uh, 80 percent of the speed when the motor attains 80 percent of the speed we are removing the starter and the voltage goes back to 400 uh, 405 403.5 percent because till date the back cable has been developed that why it is not 100 percent that is 453 percent of what starting current is not here because it is less than that because the back came up is already created and our motor starts around the 110.5 seconds now we can see the motor torque also you can see also the motor torque at the starting the motor torque is 22 point starting torque is 22.7 percent which is completely matching with the our excel sheet results so in this way you have seen how it affects the how it affects the starting current and starting uh, torque of an induction motor by using the starters now we can change our starter we can change the starter we can use now the star delta starter we can double click again go to star devices and here we can select the star delta starter you can see here we have kept even 80 percent and 20 percent of motor is when motor attains 20 percent of the speed we are removing the starter from the supply that means we are shifting from start to delta before that we can adjust here for star data starter the x value is 1 by root 3 that is 0 0.57 that is 57.73 percent you can see that our starting current will become 261 percent and uh, local rotor torque that is starting torque 11.8 percent now coming to back to the ATEM model and click ok here and run again the run dynamic motor starting again and you can see here the operating voltage is 57.7 percent and then go to motor starting plotters click on that and now we can plot the uh, various plots first of all we can plot the uh, slip and speed and combine the plots now you can see our motor starters almost takes 85 percent 85 uh, seconds to start the motor and the slip at this point time is 1.7 and the, our uh, 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 speed is 98.3% and slip is 1.7%.
so we can check here when we enter them 1.7 percent of the slip our motor uh, speed is 98.3 percent which is completely matching with the atap results second thing we can check the current also and click on the plot you can see the current is 261.6 percent at the starting when the starter is on when this when, the, when we supply the uh, motor through the starter you can check here the starting uh, tire, uh, starting current is 261 percent and the when motor attains when motor attains almost 20 percent of the speed and we are removing that is we are shifting from star connection to delta connection at this time you can see the current uh, goes back to 447 percent not the full starting direct online starting current that is 453.3 percent because till that back of has been created the current is not as much high as direct online starting after that you can see at 80 almost uh, 85.5 seconds the motor starts and our starting current is 97.1 percent at the time of full starting now i want to show you one more thing the concept of stalling motor that is the uh, voltage that is the point where the motor fails to start if we increase this we are removing the so we are shifting the connection is from star to delta R. so you can consider suppose 70 percent of the speed when motor attains the 70 percent of the speed we are shifting our connections from star to delta you can see the motor will not start this is called the motor stalling now go to the motor starting plots Select the motor, tick the motor one and slip speed and tick the combined plot and plot. Now you can see motor fails to start. It does not start. This curve shows that motor is not starting. This is you can see the motor attains. You can see the motor is not starting. Okay. You can also see from the current plot also. We can close this plot and plot. You can see the, 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 it does not show where the motor starts. When motor starts, this peak will be high and then go to back. As you have seen early previous graphs. Thank you.